I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Fragments of Him. Um, I played the Game Jam version of this a long time ago. At least I think it was the Game Jam version. It was on Congregate. And, um, this is a game where you walk alongside Will on the last morning of his life and discover the meaning of his final thoughts. And you sort of go through... You go through the lives of four different people. Um, and the original game... The original Game Jam game, you sort of just explore one relationship, but uh, it's a bit more complete. I think it's still a fairly short game. Um, I meant to play this way back in re when it released, but... Uh, I don't know. Ooh, now we're playing Quake. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to leave that at default. Isn't 50 a little small for Field of View? Isn't it like 60 or I don't know. I don't... I'm just going to leave it at default, but I thought like 70 or 90 was the default. Could be wrong. Field of View is the one thing that I'm completely ignorant of. I, I never know what I want for that. I just leave it at default. Anything that's not default usually feels wrong. That's the only thing I know about Field of View. Alright. So there will be feelings. If, if, the, if it wasn't clear, there will be feelings in this game. So go ahead and flee now if, if you do not wish to have feelings. They had sort of this monochrome aesthetic in the Game Jam game. Man, it's been actual years since I played that Game Jam version. I don't know how accurate that's going to be to this at all. Um, yeah, I'm sort of in the mood for more of these contemplative games today. Sometimes it's... You gotta be in the right mood for the right kind of game. At least for me. I, I, I like a lot of different things. But, uh, oh, we have, we have choices. Um... I love you. Have a good day. I love you. Have a good day. Oh, it's voice acted now. All right. So many memories, and I've not taken the time to think about how much they mean to me. It's time for a change. That's one way to close a door. Ooh. Window memories. I need to take the time to look at what's right in front of me. Like the window. Between the triangles and the disappearing, I feel like we're like in Deus Ex and we're gonna like, you know, shank somebody. Hello. It's very much not what kind of game this is, but. Ooh, triangles! They're like broken glass triangles, actually. I've gotta get out of the habit of ignoring the small miracles in life. I only seem to pay attention when something is wrong, not when it's right. I'm sorry, but the Y in that font bothers the crap out of me. Let's go. Wait, can we take the stairs? Is that what this is? Oh. It's blocked. Okay. Sometimes in life you don't have as many choices as you think you do. Even an elevator is a minor miracle. Someone invented this. According to Uncharted, millions of, like, ancient Mayans invented them. I know them. consciously that there was a time when this technology didn't exist. Obviously not Mayan times. Hello, me. Wait, am I you, or...? It's just so hard to see beyond the present. He's got my glasses. Everybody has these glasses now, though. These are just every... like... <laughs> I have the official Warby Parker ones, or for all I know, the Warby Parker ones, like... I think Warby Parker's the original I'm going to one, take right? control. Be uh, the... <laughs> when I got these glasses, they were, like, reasonably fashionable, not, like... Like, they were not super common, but now I, I think every single male with glasses has a pair of these now. Like, uh, I think there's, like, a government program that distributes them. It's the only explanation. Back in my day, we got thin-rimmed glasses. I don't want to lose what we've got to by not paying attention to it. Look in the mirror, buddy. There's a creeper in the mirror. Turn on the radio, or the heat, or both. Get your seat. That is, <clears throat> that sure is a mirror. Uh, oh, buckle up. Some routine is good, sure. Yeah. 
Makes you not die. But I don't know. We're getting lazy. I don't want that. I do. Oh. I have to do everything for you, Will. I have a bad feeling. So in in the original Flash game, um, Will kind of died in a car accident. So. And there was the talk of last morning. Oh, I have like Eldritch meanings etched into my car seat. That's nice. So, I assume bad things happen soon. I hate when you know the bad thing is going to happen, but you don't know when. It's almost worse than when the bad thing happens. Anticipation, yes. I really love this aesthetic. It was nice in the original Flash game, but it was kind of... You know, it, it was simple, it was... It worked, but it looked pretty, you know, Flash game. Like, I don't usually use Flash game in a derogatory way. I can't believe like that, how lucky I've been. And I took it for granted. It just looks nice now. Whoa. Can you imagine if you had to drive and cars like materialize, only materialized into view? I've let myself feet lose away. track of what I want after everything we've been through. All right, we're in Britain land, aren't we? I would get in an accident to a second if I had to do this stuff. I'll tell him tonight. And I know that because I mess up when I play a Japanese game. I always mess up the first like several inputs. It's the thing. I love that there. cafe. On warm evenings, sometimes I sit there with a glass of wine, waiting to catch Harry on his way back from work. Why do I have bars? I guess it makes it cinematic. I feel like one of those. Like I feel like when you're a kid and you're just like, being in a car is the worst we used thing to ever. Walk in the park together. We should do more of that. And you just flip out and look out the window and like crawl around the car and be like. Arr. Being in a car before video portable video games was honestly. Pretty much the worst thing in a kid's life, at least for me. I'm happy with him. I have to be sure he knows that. Oh. I guess we're further back in time. Wake up. Wake up, lazy butt. Patterns. Oh. Every day that alarm goes off. I should change the tone on it. Though, Harry always sleeps through it, so that's something. <laughs> Some people like immune to alarms. My sister, like, there, there is no alarm that will wake her up. It's like physically impossible. She sounds like multiple ones with different alarms, like different sounds. She still never gets up. Personally, I usually wake up before my alarm and it exists only to torment me. I think of these routines as optimized living, like they allow me time to focus on other things. But I've not been doing that. That's the thing that can help too, by the way, change, like set multiple alarms with different tones. Cause you get used to the one tone and you just end up sleeping through it, at least for some people. I don't tend to have that problem unless it's really quiet. Oh, fancy. Love not consumed in passion's heart, but gold inflamed and steadfast sweet. Yes, quiet. Yes, yes. I feel like I've barely glanced at this picture for years. I love it as much as when I first saw it. Yes, we are very British. Yes, the magic heart perfume. Books! Lots of books. 
Messy books. Shame Great on you. Great stories trapped in a moment. They're brilliant, but maybe I should add some new ones. Man, I haven't read. Well, I have read since I read for jury because I had jury duty, and all you, you can only bring in books. So I read some of my dot hack stuff that I haven't finished in years. I have I have a lot of hobbies, so I end up losing time for stuff. And ironically. <laughs> It con counter to what the game's talking about, I've been trying to add more routine, like, just to make sure I do certain things and sort of reduce my stress level, but hey. Everybody's different. Sometimes you need more, sometimes you need less. Got lots of... bottles. I can't complain, I have a drawer full of bottles, I have a... big this old thing. This Harry's favorite on me. I have a big old storage thing upstairs with all of my shampoos and crap. Altered Carbon. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, can't read some of these. Can't read most of these. Great Gatsby. Okay, it's just a bunch of real books. I Am Legend. It's a recent one, isn't it? Or is that just one of those things where the, the movie is recent? There was a brief period where you could hear absolutely nothing but about that dang movie. And then I never heard about it ever again. Was that good? I haven't seen a movie in... I think Scott Pilgrim is still the last movie I actually saw in a theater. Scott I'm Pilgrim grateful the for world. everything we have. But probably not as much as I should be. It would be easy to think I wasn't happy. I am, I think. I mustn't let it slide away. I'm not a big movie type. So I'm the sort of person who'll only go to a movie with friends, and I would never suggest in the fr first place to go to a movie. I usually go to the bathroom first, but I could live dangerously. Maybe I should have breakfast first today. Living on the edge. Oh my god, I have one of those therapist couches. I'm terminally British. Nice crane out there. <laughs> Are these even comfortable? Like, they, they don't look comfortable. Like, the posture, like the resty posture maybe, but like, what do you do with your right arm? I don't know. I don't, I don't trust it. Let's be dangerous and naughty today. Let's go to the, let's go to the breakfast nook. Was that the first domino to fall? To change the future? Dun dun dun. God, look at all these condiments. Freaking miles of condiments. We've got military grade buttons on our microwave. Yeah, let's make some coffee. Tea. Tea. Whatever. That's what I meant. Of course, he's got tea. He's British. A man takes the lead, Grandma would tell me. I guess I need to step up to the line. I've got a great thing here. I've quit most sources of caffeine myself, though. Sometimes I'm naughty, and like, if I wake up late or something for work, I'll usually get. I don't think she meant bit. this, but she's right. I should take the lead. I should ask Harry to marry me. I want to be his husband. I'm not sure Grandma would approve. She's come a long way. It's hard to tell with her. Sometimes the older generation doesn't change as much as the we want them to. That's definitely true. Is that Gmas? That is Will's grandmother. I visited Will in hospital on the first day that he was born. James, Will's father, handed him to me, wrapped in a little blue blanket. I'll never forget that moment. He was such a handsome baby. James ran three London pubs in the 1980s. Of that punk sort. He looked awful with that leather jacket and those sort of things. <laughs> That's not the sort of thing for children. So I would babysit as often as possible to make sure he had someone normal in his life. Good old normal grandma. We'll explore normal grandma's life next, I guess. That's a good cutoff point. See you next time. We, well, we explore normal grandma.